The following information is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. The views expressed do not reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result. There is a movie called The Big Short. It's a true story about the 2008 mortgage crisis and how one man, a hedge fund creator named Michael Burry, saw it coming when no one else did. At the end of the movie, there is a quote from Burry. He was asked what he believes is the world's next crisis. His answer was one word, water. Today, you're going to meet another man named Michael, Michael Molinar, who may just have the answer to that one word crisis. And he's about to give you a health awakening. Welcome to The Health Awakening, I'm Scott Laird. None of us can live without water, but it's a looming crisis that no one seems to be talking about. However, you may have a solution in your own home right now. Our guest today is Mike Molinar. Mike, welcome to The Health Awakening. Thank you, Scott, thanks for having me. So water crisis, you know, we hear this pop up every once in a while and everybody goes, yeah, yeah, whatever. And you know, it doesn't become a real thing until one day it will be a real thing, it'll be a big problem. But you have an idea uh, where we can better use the water that we have. Uh, what is this idea? Well, um, the idea is collecting AC water, collecting it um, and recycling it and um, using it for, you know, daily drinking, um, ice making, um, indoor growing and outdoor landscaping if you want to. Okay, cool. small outdoor landscaping. Great. Oh, well, you know what? I you mentioned indoor gardening. So um, before the cameras came on, I mean, and you're going to tell your story a little bit here too. But uh, we have an indoor garden at home, and you know, I've never thought about using the water from an air conditioner or even a, a dehumidifier. Uh, is that how it started for you? Yes. Um, for you know, for about ten years, I did indoor growing, and I've always used the water from the air conditioners and the dehumidifiers to feed my plants, and we've always had successful crops and everything. And then, um, you know, getting out of the business and then I wanted to get into the business a little bit more. And I just had the idea and um, I went ahead and, you know, tried to see if I could get the idea protected. And I went to a patent attorney and I pitched it to him. And um, he was like, this is a great idea. So we went ahead and went through the normal um, legal ramifications. You do a patent search to see if someone has something back. And we did the patent search. And um, long and behold, we saw very similar ones, but nothing like mine. Because it's so, it's so simple, plug and play. And we live in a very technology world where we think almost everything is thought of. You know, and we didn't think, I didn't think of it and everything. And I honestly went into the patent's office with doubt that somebody had thought about this. And um, we did the patent search and the patent search came back clear. There was very similar ones, but nothing like mine. And the attorney said, Mike, there's room for this. So I advise you to go with this patent and don't tell nobody about this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's like, you know, the laws of having your idea of protected. Course, yeah. And um and we went ahead and got the patent done. And then once the patent was done and everything, now I was able to um, legally talk about it to everyone and everything. So what is, what is this concept? I mean, I hear you can use, oh, so you collected the water. You know, everybody can do that. You collect the little bucket from the uh, dehumidifier or put a pan underneath your home air conditioner unit. Well, okay, that's that's one way of collecting water. But what is this? What makes it different? Like, what what, what is it that it does here? And how does it connect with your air conditioner unit? Well, um, what we have out there in the air conditioner business called a condensate pump. And a condensate pump is just like what it does. It collects the condensate water that comes from the air conditioner. And the condensate pump pumps the water to a waste. And this condensate pump is usually made for people that doesn't have a good waste system for air conditioning water. And what I do, I just take the normal condensate pump and that water, instead of it getting pumped through waste, it gets pumped through a filter. And then from a filter, it goes into a reservoir. And then from a reservoir, it goes through another set of filters to whatever you desire to put it to. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so like, you know, basically what I do is 
what today is called an atmospheric water generator. Today we have a machine called an atmospheric water generator. And um, it's a machine you could buy it on Amazon for a residential and they have big commercial units. And basically it's a machine that it's a water generator, makes water out of air. However, if you take an atmospheric water generator and a humidifier and an air conditioner and you strip them all down with naked parts, same bra, same underwear. You know, they all have a compressor, they all have a condenser, they all have an evaporator, and they all make water the same way. Huh. But, you know, but um, you cannot, you know, it's not really good to sell. You can't really sell a machine and say, it's really an air conditioner inside <laughs> of there. They have to make it marketable and say it's an atmospheric water generator. So basically what I do is just upgrade your home air conditioner to what we call today an atmospheric water generator. Now, there is some advantages to what you're doing. Your system is superior to my understanding. So how is it better than just buying this, Am this machine on Amazon? Well, um, an atmospheric water generator, um, you know, you get them for like $1,700. They make about um, six, some, some say they make about six to eight gallons a day, but a home air conditioner averages about five to 25 gallons a day, and a commercial air conditioner averages about 100 to 200 gallons a day. That's on a low end. So I see, you know, we have the hose coming out from our house, and it's dripping water. So you're telling me that that drip creates like at least eight gallons a day? Well, for some, for an average home that has a three-ton air conditioner, and you know, on all times and everything, between ten to fifteen gallons a day. Wow! And then if you have, and then if you have like what is called like a five-ton air conditioner in your home, or you have, you know, a five-ton air conditioner in your home, you're looking at about twenty to twenty-five gallons a day. My goodness, that is that's incredible. On home, that's that's on the residential. On the commercial end, it's hundreds of gallons on a daily basis. Some air conditioner units will actually give you, commercial air conditioner units will give you about 20 gallons an hour. That is crazy. Yeah. So that, that could provide water for a whole office building, for example. Well, yes, it definitely can. Like, you know, after doing studies, and I have it on the cover of the book, you know, California is wasting about 200 million gallons a day. Um, um, Texas, 161 million gallons a day. Here in Florida, 131 million gallons a day. That is insane. That's being, that's being wasted. Well, we're gonna come back and talk about this because this, this is revolutionary, I love this. So Mike Molinar, thank you for joining us on The Health Awakening. Thank you for joining us, we're gonna be right back. This is a fascinating talk, we'll see you in just a second. And welcome back to The Health Awakening. Before the break, we were talking about this book in my hand, Future Water Conservation with AC Water Recycling from Mike Molinar. And uh, if you were as shocked as I were, was, uh, goodness, 10 gallons out of your air conditioner coming out every day from your home air conditioner. Mike, I guess that's why, you know, on the cover of your book, you say here that, you know, each state is wasting millions of gallons a day, and that's how. I mean, if every person can get at least 10 gallons from their house air conditioner, I mean, goodness, I, I, you can see how much water we're literally wasting every day. Yeah. You know, um, here in Florida, like, you know, the great benefits of collecting the water is that when hurricane season kicks in, with our water system inside your home, there's no reason to rush to go ahead and get bottled water because you're going to have 50 gallons of clean water, actually cleaner water than bottled water at your home. Because, you know, hurricane season comes around here in Florida and everybody just bankrupts themselves. <laughs> you know, they rush to Home Depot, board up their houses, and then they buy, you know, a lifetime supply of water and everything. And then even when the hurricane comes and everything, we only use 2% 2 of it, <laughs> you know? So like, you know, that's one of the benefits of, um, you know, actually, you know, having it here, you know, in Florida, right. you know, um, areas like California where people are having water restrictions, where they are not allowed to um, water their lawns. And I think in 2000, I think two years ago, about 6 million homes was affected and homes and businesses was affected by water restrictions in California that they weren't able to um, water their lawns. With my water system and their homes and businesses, they could just use the water and it could restrict water restriction lawn. I mean, water lawn restrictions or water restrictions, if I'm saying that right. Right. So now if people don't want to use, obviously, if, if there's water restrictions, you don't want to use, be using the water pressurized from your house. So when you have this water collected and it goes through all the filtration and all that, I'm assuming that we're left with a, a basin or a cauldron or something with the water. Um, how do we pressurize it for like watering lawn or some, some other? Uh, well, it goes through a pump. 
You know, um, there's plenty of, you know, it's a normal water pump. And um, what I use is a pressure pump and it works off pressure. It's like, you know, you just open it up and then once you use it, it could, it, um, it could go to anywhere. You know, and the, and the pressure pumps they have these days, up to 60 PSI, you could pretty much run a home on it and everything. And then if you want to actually pressurize it and put it into a tank, you could do that as well. But usually a pressure pump, a pump on demand is the one, you know, where everybody uses. So naturally what I put into the system. You know, a lot of people don't understand either that, uh, you know, when we do prepping and that kind of thing, which is uh, very popular with our audience, uh, and you get all these big five gallon, uh, you know, uh, water containers in your house, like I have a few at my house, but after a while that water goes bad, so to speak. Uh, but So you could be creating fresh water all the time with this system, I guess. Correct, because you're constantly getting new water. You know what I mean? You're constantly getting new water, even though if your tank fills up in the pan, and I have it, that it has an overflow that you can make it go to another reservoir if you choose. Hmm. You know, no. so... Um, so like, you know, you have, you know, you have the option of not really um, losing any type of water. So, and then like, you know, and then we actually have it to the point there, like if you want to get super conservative, we can actually have it deducted off your water bill. You know, all the water, you know, if you want to be that type of person and like, okay, and you want to be super productive and everything, we actually have the AC water deducted off your water bill exclusively. We'd be showing people the actual bill. So now when you when you have this water collected and you are so are you finding that um, people are are they just using it as it comes out or are they saving it for for a rainy day or for a disaster? Well, the way that we have it hooked up, it's just it's hooked up to the refrigerator for water and ice. We have some we have some people that um, like, you know, that just has it hooked up for like, you know, here in Miami. Um, uh, Miami, they li uh, the Latins like to party a lot on the weekends, so they like to hook it up to their bar for ice, <laughs> you know, for just ice and water for the weekends and everything. We have some clients that just wants to have it hooked up to, you know, for, you know, just for some ice, hooked up to a refrigerator for water and ice and emergency drinking water. Wow. And then we have some of them, some of them hooks them up to their, you know, personal hydroponics or their personal small gardens of what they're doing. Yeah, the hydroponic gardens, those are becoming very popular. Uh, the ones that are just uh, have water in, in a basin and, and water the plants. Uh, is that the kind of indoor garden you had? Well, I did all type of hydroponic growing and everything and then um, organics growing and everything. But same thing, we always just use the air conditioning. You know, we always use the air conditioning water to feed the plants. And then mm. if we did anything with the hydroponics, hydroponics with timers and turning water on and sprinklers, it was the you know, same concept. We could just hook it up to any type of system and they could just grab the, the water from the reservoirs. And this water, like you mentioned, you know, you think about it, if it's coming through your tap, you're going to have all kind of municipal water supply chemicals in there and that kind of thing. And, you know, the uh, all kinds of things to yeah, purify yeah, chlorine, the water. So you're not going to get that with this, are you? No, it's actually what is called um, chlorine. It's chlorine free or what is called um, um, un, 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 untreated water. That's actually where treated water is like city water. It's been treated with chlorine and all these stuff to clean it up and everything. Air conditioning water, condensate water is considered untreated water. There's nothing inside of it. And that's even better because now we're finding out that in municipal water systems, not only is there chlorine, but there's also fluoride. Some people think that's good for their teeth. It's not good to be drinking. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, you know, there's even things like, uh, you know, birth control pill uh, residue still in the water. Uh, they're mm -hmm. testing water now in municipal water supplies and finding there's all kinds of drugs in there. So this is another way to get past that too, isn't it? Correct, yeah, because like, you know, I, I definitely got myself into the water at home filtration business. And, you know, we have seen that these are the more people that's interested into this water system and everything. Because like, you know, if you're already interested into clean water and, you know, you're not, you don't, you're not a big fan of city water and everything, and you want something a little bit, um, you know, you want to take it to the next step or you want something a little bit less expensive, we can start filtering your air conditioning water because we're using the same filters that we filter your normal city water to clean it up with. So it's like, you know, the next step to home filtration. All right, we're going to talk more about how to get one of these in your house next. We're talking with Mike Molinar, and we'll be right back on The Health Awakening. And welcome back to The Health Awakening. If you didn't know we had a water shortage, well, guess what? We do, but Mike Molinar has a solution for you. And Mike, I, I remember seeing on your website, there's this map of Florida, uh, where you live, and each county 
as to whether or not they're running out of water, if they have enough, and it seems like the problem is creeping up. I mean, do we really have a water shortage situation in this country? It's a yes and a no and everything. Um, you know, some people say, yes, we do have a water crisis because, you know, when you really dig into it, a lot of counties are selling water to each other and they're looking for new um, innovative ways of finding new sources of water and everything. And um, the only untapped source that, you know, that we came up with is AC water, air conditioning water, because that's the water that's being waste. Right. Wasted. And it's a heck of a lot more simple than what Israel is doing, by the way, with their desalination plants taking seawater. And that, that's a whole process in itself. So this is really quite simple. Something that we can use from something we're already doing is running our air conditioner unit. So that's just a beautiful thing. So now you're in Florida and you want to get this across the country. So at what point is your company? Is this a fairly new thing for you? Yes. And what we want to do is that we want to license it out to all water filtration companies that's interested into this and everything so they could go ahead and start, you know, boosting the sales for their company as well and start um, helping people that's in the area that's probably in need for it, like especially like California. There's plenty of people out there that want to go ahead and will like to have this in their home to especially for the water fines out there because it's ridiculous out there. And especially um, California's crisis for a demand for um, a new water source. So how simple is this? I mean, uh, do, do we need a crew to come out to the house? Is it plug and play? Uh, how, how does the system- uh... it's, a simple, it's a simple plug, it's a simple plug and play. And um, a, a normal install will take no more, no more than two to three hours tops. You know, if it's a big house, we're just, you know, it's gonna take some time. But once we go to the house and we prep it and we look uh, up to do the install and you just wanna have it hooked up to your refrigerator for just water and ice, plug and play, we're in and out in two hours, wow. three hours tops. Okay, so you're doing this all over Florida. Uh, how many systems have you done so far in Florida? Well, we just, you know, we just opened up, you know, this year and everything. And like, you know, it's starting to go up there. If you want to put a number on there and everything, I've done seven. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this you know, is really new. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we've do, we done seven. But I just partnered up with a company called Miami Air and Water. Um, they are in, um, they work for a company called Rainsoft. Rainsoft is a water filtration company that's been around since 1953. And um, we're, they're, they're, they want to partner up with me and give it a shot and start, you know, bringing it to home filtration. And hopefully that will be the start. You know, we're starting to prep up and start training the, um, start training the salesmen. So we can maybe, you know, so we were, uh, you know, up and gearing by January because, like, you know, holidays are coming in and everything. People are going to be busy. So we're just going to start training. So when January kicks in, that's where we'll have, like, you know, our first major staff going out and getting out to people. Would you be open to, now you're a believer, so we want to, you know, everybody who's watching this is uh, thinks like you and I think. And so we want to really encourage folks to, uh, you know, if they know people in their congregations or whatever who have, even air conditioner companies, would you be interested yes. in talking to them too? Yes, this is a great opportunity for the churches and the synagogues. You can make mikvah pools. You can have, you know, projects and everything, you know, just like in, in churches, how they have um, classes of newer things and everything. They could get together, like, listen, air conditioning water and everything. And, you know, you could baptize people in it if you want to. <laughs> I guess and, so. and, and, yeah, and in the synagogues, they could mikvah if they want to as they will. You know what I mean? So it's definitely, you know, you know, this God's air. <laughs> it's his it's his air, it's his water, and something um a great subject to talk about, especially in a church or a synagogue. Would you be interested in talking to air conditioner companies too, in addition to water filtration companies? Yes, I, I've been interested in, in talking to air conditioning companies because I actually got into the air conditioning business of this. You know, um, I, 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 I did air conditioning and I'm actually working on my HVAC contract. However, it's more towards home filtration because in the HVAC business, in all honesty, they just want to cool your home or heat your home. They really don't know about water. And in the HVAC business and me being in the area, when we do coil cleanings and we see people's coils, they look horrible. Mm. And the last thing in an HVAC company is like, oh, yeah, we're going to use this water to recycle it. They're like, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when you when I when I approach it to HVAC companies, they're a little bit and everything because they see dirty coil cleanings all day, you know, and like, you know, someone calling, someone calls my house and they're saying that my air conditioner is not, you know, is not cooling. And we go over there and we look at, you know, when was the last time you changed your filter? 
I don't know, four years ago and the coil is all dirty and everything. And you look at that and, hey, let's go ahead and recycle that water. No. Yeah, no, I <laughs> know, can understand so, the hesitation there. So, yeah, but if you keep your coil clean, if, you, if a person has normally changed their filter regularly on their air conditioning, their coil will stay clean and they'll have clean water all day, every day. Wow. But that, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, some people, we just don't, some people like even myself, we don't keep good maintenance of our air conditioning. The, you know, the guy tells us to change it, um, you know, once a month and everything, we might do it every six months. Right. Yep. Indeed. <laughs> you know. Well, you can, you can give them that, that lesson when you come out to do this kind of thing. So Mike, stay with us on The Health Awakening. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Health Awakening. Getting water from your air conditioner, brilliant idea, comes from a believer. I love it even more. Mike Molinar, how can people get this system into their house? Well, they could always go to my website, www.futureacwatersystem.com, and explore it. They could go ahead and email us at contact us at futureacwatersystem.com, and, um, or they could call our toll-free number, 1-800-344-9389, and give me a call, and we'll take things one step at a time, find out what type of air conditioner you're they have and if their house qualifies for it and if they if it's interested in getting an install if they're out of town and everything we got to go ahead and try to inspire their home filtration company to do the inst installation for them well this is a brilliant idea uh, i just uh i just commend you for doing it and i know you're going to give all all uh, credit to the creator to yehovah for giving you this beautiful idea and i think it's going to go gangbusters this is a a wonderful idea. You've got it patented. I mean, you've done all the right things. So, uh, Mike, we just want to bless you and what you're doing, and we just pray that everyone really wakes up and sees that this solution is really a great solution for their house and uh, for the future, too, as things become more scarce. So, Mike, thank you for joining us again on The Health Awakening, and thank you for joining us. We will see you next time. Thank you for joining us today on The Health Awakening. You can catch the replay of this episode and see our complete show archive at healthawakening.tv. For more information about our guests today and all they have to offer, please visit their website on the bottom of your screen. And please remember, the information you saw today is intended for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice, nor do the views expressed reflect those of this broadcaster. Should you choose to implement this information, please do so only with the assistance of a licensed medical professional. Neither the presenter nor this broadcaster assume any responsibility for any adverse effects or consequences that may result.